Gabriel, hello, how are you? I'm good. I am a journalist with Project Veritas. Okay. Nice to talk with you. Hi. Don't, am I getting... don't mind my colleague recording. We are recording, but I think you're going to be more interested in what I have to say here. I don't feel it's comfortable a with this. Well, um, I think that there's been a lot of uncomfortability in your classroom. I'd like to talk with you about some of the statements you've made. Uh, I believe you I said it. I don't know what Project Veritas is. But we're journalists. Okay. And, 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 you spend, and you mentioned to one of our colleagues that you have 180 days to turn students into revolutionaries. Would you like to expound upon that? We do not consent to this filming. We do not consent to these questions. Well, you're in a public place, and I don't think parents consent to their students being, quote, turned into revolutionaries. So if you'd like to give a comment on that, those newsworthy statements you've made, uh, I think that would go a long way to resolve some concerns in the community. I would appreciate some distance. If you could step away, that would be Well, Mr. Guype, if you could please just provide me commentary on these statements. I mean, a student voiced their uncomfortability in your classroom with the Antifa flag. Do you recall that? Do you recall how you responded to that student? Uh, you tacitly implied they might be aligned with fascists. I mean, is this the kind of behavior in line with the mission statement of your high school? Don't you give students extra credit for going to partisan left-wing events? You're harassing me. Sir, I'm not harassing you. I'm, I'm, you to I'm trying to get I'm comments. You to You're a public school I'm teacher. Asking, I understand that, but you're, you're a public school teacher. And you're, me. and you're teaching things outside the curriculum of your school. Do you not have a poster of Mao in your classroom? As parents would also like to know, why do you think it's okay to quote, scare the F-U-C-K out of students to turn them into revolutionaries? Yet you said that you would consider, and you have considered taking up the arms, taking up arms against the state. That's an incredible statement. Do you think it's okay to push these personal beliefs onto students? Do you have permission from the superintendent or the principal to use your classroom as a bedrock for your personal beliefs and impose them on students, high school students? We're being followed by these people. Letting individuals know. As you can see, they run in shame. They had a lot to say to my colleague, but Mr. Guype has nothing to say now. This is, this is the face of radicalism. This is people who have something to hide, yet when the mic is in their face and they have the opportunity to share, they don't want to. Classic. Outside the school district here, Natomas Unified School District, we were unable to get comment from the principal, Ms. Strickland, of Endercom High School. Now here at the school district, let's see if we can get anyone who's willing to see this disturbing footage. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I do see that you're recording, uh, I guess for your safety, we are as well. I have some footage that I need to show a member of the school district here. I was hoping to speak with, if not the communications manager, perhaps uh, chief academic officer, Angela Herrera. Okay, um, let's start off with our communications department. Okay. Um, here's what I do have. I do have a press pass. Um, if you can bring that back to me. Of course. No one wants to see this footage. No one wants to see this footage. Okay. You work for the school district, correct? What is your title, if I may ask? Because I just find it interesting that no one is willing to see this footage. Like I said, it's, it's maybe of a safety concern to Endercom High School. I have the footage right here. It's, it's, a, it's a 10 minute video. Um, and these, is, it's, it's of, do you want to, she said no one, no one can see my footage. I don't know if it's a liability issue or if it's a negligence issue, but no one wants to see this footage. Okay, you guys can't be in here recording. You need to leave, please. Okay, we're, we're trying to show you a, a no, video. I want you to leave or I'm gonna call the police. Okay. Is this a public building? They have called the police to escort us from the building. 
because we are attempting to get someone from the school district to watch footage of a teacher engaging in behavior that is blatantly a concern for security, health, and just well-being of these minors. Ma'am, can you tell me what your title is so I can leave? Okay. I'll, I'll be calling in momentarily just to get her title. She's a member of the school district. She has to give it to me. She's a empo public employee. Thank you for your help. Have a nice day. We'd rather call the police on someone who has footage of a safety concern instead of simply viewing the footage. These are the people who are running your child. These are the people making the decisions for your child's life. No accountability, no willingness, no responsibility. Cowards. Cowards.